and suddenly I'm doing it again, but from a different perspective. Yeah, and it can't hurt, can it? it well, it, it, mm, I, I disagree. Because, you disagree? Tell us about I that. I disagree. Well, because when you work with someone as brilliant as Richard Bandler, yeah. I mean, you've, you've seen him. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, we achieve amazing results in what we do Excellent. because yeah. of his concepts. Yeah. And because of the things that he taught us. He's a genius, us. of course. Yes, a living yeah. genius. Yeah. And suddenly, mm. with Richard, you have no boundaries, right. no borders. Right. You listen. You And you're in the experience. Yeah. You, you listen, know, you've got rapport yeah. with your client. Fantastic. You're listening. Yeah. You, you know, you're finding out how you can change. Everything's what, different. Yeah, everything's it? different. Yeah. Suddenly, you're sitting in a classroom learning similar mm -hmm. concepts, but mm. you're being told... The first session you have with your client mm. is just one of deep relaxation and to oh, teach them self-hypnosis. Okay. The second Lots session rules, you have with huh? your client <laughs> is you do this. And the oh, third okay. session you have with your client is you do something else. That's interesting to know because I, I, I meet people that say I'm a clinical hypno hypnotherapist or a hypnosis person, whatever. And I think, okay, because hypnosis is still just hypnosis at the end of the yeah, day. You yeah. can either do it or you can't, yeah. right? And you can either teach somebody else to do it or you cannot, mm. you know. And you can either do a rapid induction or you can't. You can't. Yeah. yeah. So I find that interesting to know exactly what's involved in clinical hypnosis study. So tell us a bit more. Well, they were basically saying that you needed, on average, six sessions to fix anybody. Oh, uh, and I've just come, I'm, I'm all fresh and shiny yeah. and excited. Yeah, of course. With everything Richard's taught me. Yeah, of course. Of course. And I can cure a phobia in like 20 minutes. Of course. Of and course. now I'm doing this this, this class so at a university yeah. that's telling me it's going to take me six sessions okay. to cure phobia, at least, because yeah. some phobias take longer. Oh, so. I think uh, you've, you've brought up a point that uh, reminds me. There are people that need a bit more don't they 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 they're, yeah, oh. they're not really confident yet mm -hmm. and they need a bit more um for example i happen to personally know somebody that bought a i don't know what the kit's called <laughs> but it's how to i don't know how to do hypnosis kit. but this person actually is already an nlp mm -hmm. practitioner has already had a um uh, hypnotherapy certification but some people need a bit more is it kind of helpful to people like that possibly yeah um, but another way to get a bit more mm. is I've actually now started a practice group in London tell us about it so that yeah. on the first Thursday of every mm. month yeah people can come along to King's College at Waterloo and I'm running a practice group mm. so that those people that are newly qualified or those people that have yeah. no qualification and yeah. just want to play so come to the practice or those group. people that With just Tina want to learn Taylor, more for God's come sake. see me come With see Tina me. Taylor yeah. and, go to the practice and I'll show you how me. easy it is yeah. I mean come on to do a training with you would cost a lot of money let's face it you're a master trainer mm -hmm. society of NLP you, you know you're the head assistant trainer for um Paul McKenna, your trainer on Bandler's team all the time. It's a big deal. So to come to have the opportunity to come and do a practice group with you. And we keep it really and reasonable. And it's very central. Very central in London. Yeah. It's really reasonable. Yeah. We spend two hours. It's very reasonable. And we run yeah. through all these different techniques. It's worth coming from another country. If you're in England, you know, for any reason, or if you just want to make the trip come to the practice me. group, come, come, see come me. to the We do have people group. that come over from, uh, from Holland. Of course. And sometimes from France because I can get the train in. It takes London. five minutes. Well, not five minutes, yeah, an right. hour. Yeah. <laughs> Time distortion. Yeah. Well, it feels Could like be five it. minutes. When you go through the tunnel, it's like yeah. 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 Five minutes. We'll teach you time distortion. Take you five minutes. It's to gonna be home. fantastic. It will yeah. feel like that, won't it? <laughs> it will. And yeah. it'll be so wonderful, and you'll laugh all the way through it. Now, how can people find out more about your practice group? Where should they go? You've got a fantastic <coughs> brand new website. I've got a brand new website. Tell us all about it. That we're just just tweaking at the moment. Yeah. And it's www.tina-taylor.com. And on there, you can find out about the practice group, about the trainings that I run, the coaching I do, the mentoring, the therapy. Everything that I do is on that site. Fantastic. And I'm very excited to see your full site up and running because Tina's actually got a blog on her site. So. Yes, I do. <laughs> so 
Oh, I love it. I'm yeah. going to be very interested. Yeah, you can follow me around the world as I'm assisting with Richard and everything I'm doing. Because you're all over the place, Tina, aren't you? Didn't you just get back from America? I've just got back from uh, helping out in, in Orlando where Richard was running Persuasion Engineering with John Naval and there was uh, an Adventures for Anybody. The next time that course Isn't comes that fantastic? Around, Adventures for Everybody? Yeah. For Anybody? Wow, we... That's, That's exciting. Cool, cool. Yeah, very cool. And trainers yeah. training. Yeah. And we love the crew out there. So that's <laughs> and fantastic. we've got trainers training yeah. again in July, mm -hmm. as well as a prank and a master yeah. in Orlando with yeah. Richard and John. And I'm running because a practitioner you could, they could go, as well. Are you, Tina? I when? Am. Next July? No, in May. In May? In Wimbledon, in London. Oh, let's find out about your practitioner training. Tell us all about it. I'm running an NLP practitioner certified with the Society of NLP in Wimbledon from the 16th to the 22nd of May. You must come. If you haven't done your practitioner training yet, or if you have done it and you're not satisfied with it, and you want to train with uh, Master Trainer Tina Taylor, which would entitle and you... And also Steve Crabb, who and is also, also a Master Steve Trainer. Crabb, yeah. Which would entitle you to be in the Society of NLP. It would, If yes. you were not already, or even if you were and you wanted to do it with and Tina Taylor. even if you've trained with somebody else, yeah. it's a good idea to redo your prac and master yeah. prac. I mean, in the decade or so that I've actually been using these techniques. Mm. Um, I have trained with other trainers. Yeah. And you get Fantastic to see it from trainers, their perspective. Yeah. It's mm. just like when I first started assisting with Paul mm. and I was sitting at the back and I saw it from another perspective. Mm. Then when I went and, and did a practitioner with a different Definitely. trainer, I got to see it from yet another perspective. It's always good to go with many different trainers. And you learn it's so much more. Always, yeah. And, and keep your learning up. And even if you're at trainer level and you're not using NLP, mm. come and do the practitioner course because that's fantastic. It's great as a revision. Mm. And I've got a couple yeah. of people coming in May who want to do the master prac in Orlando. Oh, yes. With yes, Richard. But yes. of course, you can't do the master prac until mm. you've done a practitioner. Yeah. So they're coming along yeah. in May yeah. to do their practitioner and then yeah. they can go straight on to the master prac in Orlando with Richard. Yeah. Now, that's what I was going to talk about. Now, if you go to do your training with Richard Bandler, um, let's say they do the practitioner training with you, mm -hmm. then they can do the master practitioner and the trainer's training in Orlando. Is they that can. right? Yeah. And you're set. You're done. That's it. That's the end of it. And, you know, you get qualified right then and there to be a society, train, society of NLP trainer. Yeah. Of course, you've probably got a lot of practicing to do. They will. They will have stuff. an awful lot yeah. of practice to do. I yeah. mean, Richard even says um, yeah. at the end of it, that this is the beginning. It's the beginning. The, yeah. I, I love the, uh, yeah. the metaphor he uses. And he, he did give it to me when he made me a master trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, it was totally unexpected. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing when mm. I was sitting in the room mm. and he was explaining he was going to make me a master trainer. And when I went up and, and got my certificate and everything from him, later I said, um, I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Such an honour, isn't it? Um, and he said, well, think of it as a black belt. Yeah. Because when you get your black belt in the martial arts, that means now your learning just begins. Yeah. Yeah. So I think in all, with all of these courses, I mean, here I am, I've been doing this for a decade or so, mm -hmm. I'm still learning. That's right, yeah. And it's all good stuff, good new learning, new understanding. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit more about the other trainings that you have going. So we know that you have, um, you do a practice group with Steve Crabb, and that's I do. in Waterloo. That's at Waterloo. Now you've got four modules coming up. Uh, I know that you were really focused on helping people that were already familiar with NLP or were not familiar with NLP in techniques in hypnosis and NLP. Yeah, I started a hypnotherapy diploma. Mm -hmm. Um, so lots of people, as I said, I went off to do this diploma and I wasn't impressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it cost me thousands and thousands of pounds. Yeah. Um, and what they were teaching me, it wasn't, it didn't, it didn't work for me. Right, I understand. It, it didn't go yeah. with what I'd already learned yeah. from Richard yeah. and what I knew was working for yeah. me. So I've decided I'm, I'm going to start a hypnotherapy diploma.